Hello everyone. Okay, we're moving on to question 3.2. So question 3.2 says Tabiso wants to renovate the walkway in his garden, right? He wants to replace the grass in the walkway with concrete blocks and pebbles. Okay, the dimensions of the walkway as shown in Annex to B. So now we know that we're back with our addendum, right? Let's see if I can find the addendum. Here we go. And we know that we are looking at these guys, right? So there we go. We see the walkway. We see that there's these um, little tiles and then there's pebbles in between. And we see the different dimensions, right? So we kind of know what's going on. Okay, so let's just jump into the questions and see what needs to be done. So it says, and I should be, uh, use and should be to answer the questions that follow. So we have and I should be, and let's now see the questions. So it says calculator, calculates, I keep saying calculator, I don't know why I keep saying that. Um, in meter squared, right, we must calculate in meter squared, the total area of the 12 concrete blocks, right? So there's 12 of them. So we know what we could do, right? Because each of these concrete blocks, are the same. We could just calculate the area of 1 and multiply it by 12, right? That's the easiest way of going about it. So it says, you may use the following formula. Lovely. They gave us a nice little formula. Okay, so let's just see. The concrete blocks, from what I'm seeing, are perfect squares. Let's just see if there is any indication of that. Let's see. So it says, one concrete block. There we go. They've given us 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters. But it's important to look at, they want it in meters squared, right? So we're going to have to convert this 50 centimeters, both of those 50 centimeters, into meters, right? Um, also, what's important is it's meters squared, right? It's meters to the power of two because there are two dimensions, right? There's length and breadth. So let's just quickly do that question. Okay, so we know that the concrete block is a square, right? So each of the sides are equal, okay? And we know that 100 centimeters equals one meter, right? Let me just double check you and see what I'm doing. Cool, okay? So 50 centimeters, we divided by 100 to get 0 0.5 meters, okay? Remember I said that when we move from centimeters to meters, because we're going from a smaller measurement to a large measurement, you will have fewer meters than you will centimeters. Okay, so then area would equal 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, and that equals 0 0.25. Let me just double check that that is correct. 0 uh, 0.5 times 0 0.5. Okay, so it's 0 0.25 meters squared. But we are not done yet, right? This is only for one tile, right? And let's go back to the question. The question said for, or not tile, there's concrete blocks. So we need 12 of them. So the area of 12 would equal 0 0.25 times by 12, which I think we will find is three meters squared. Let me double check. Times 12, three meters squared. Excellent, right? So that is our answer, three meters squared. It's important to note the dimensions we've been given to do it for one tile or concrete block and then multiply it by 12. Also, remember to label your questions appropriately. I keep forgetting to do that, but it's a good thing to get into the practice of doing that. Okay, so let's now go on to... So let's just quickly go back to this so that we 100% understand what we're doing. So we've calculated the area of basically all of these guys. So I'm putting a little tick in the area that we've calculated, right? Just so that we understand, okay? So that's what we've done. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move on to 3.2.2. So 3.2.2 says, calculate the area of the walkway that needs to be covered with pebbles, right? You may use the following formula. So they've given us this area, right? And what they want is they basically want, and I'm gonna use a little bit of a highlighter. They want all of this area, right? All of this area here so it's all the area around each of these concrete blocks okay now we can either make this really simple for ourselves or we can make it really complicated so what i'm going to do right and this is quite important is i'm going to work out the area of the total walkway right so i'm not going to 
look at like these individual little gray areas around you. I'm going to work out the area of this whole block and then I'm going to subtract the area of the concrete blocks, right? Because if we have the area of the whole block minus the area of the concrete blocks that we have here, then you have the area of the gray, right? Because the gray and the concrete blocks together make the area of that whole walkway. Okay, so it's important to think about area sometimes like this. You don't always just calculate it using length times breadth. You also sometimes say, okay, if two, if there's two parts of something, right, if I work out the area of the whole and remove one part, then I'm left with the area of the other part, right? And that's quite important because otherwise it can get quite complicated, okay? So it says calculate the area of the walkway. So the area of the walkway is going to be area told us over here is length times breadth so it's going to be 1.45 meters right over there um and it's going to be four point times 4.05 oh that's a bit of an ugly five okay so we're just going to put that into our calculator that is not one i can do in my head so that is the area of the whole walkway, right? It's the area of the whole walkway, including all these little blocks, right? So that's going to be 5.8725 meters squared of the whole walkway. Now you might be thinking, okay, Margie, why didn't you round it off? But guys, remember, this is not my final answer, right? As indicated in the instructions, it said only round off your final answer, okay? So this is the area of the walkway. Okay, and we know that the area of the concrete blocks, right, of the concrete blocks equals 3 meters squared, don't we? We just calculated that. Therefore, the area of, ooh, interesting age there, of the pebbles is going to equal 5.8725 minus 3. Okay, so we basically are removing the area from this, we're removing the area of the concrete blocks from the area of the walkway to get the area of the pebbles. Okay, so I'm just going to subtract three and the area of the pebbles is 2.87 meters squared. Okay, so that is basically how we do that question. Okay, so... Let's now move on. You can put the 2.5 if you want to. I'm just putting 8.7 so that we rounded it off. Remember, the reason I'm rounding it off to 7 and not to 8 is because 2 is less than 4, right? And remember what we said? We said when something is less than 4, we round down. When it is greater than 5, we round up, okay? So that is our final answer there. Okay, so... Now we go to 3.2.3, okay? So let's just recap what we've calculated. We've calculated using this. We've calculated the area of the blocks. We've calculated the area of the pebbles. So now let's see what our last question will be, okay? Okay. It says, calculate the total number of bags of pebbles needed to cover an area of 5,7 meters squared. Okay, so what we need to know is we need to know how much one bag covers. Okay, so let's just see what other information they've given us. Okay, so they've given us the dimensions of the walkway. We've already used that. We've, they've given us the dimensions of one concrete block. They've said that he will ha need 12 blocks as shown in the sketch, right? So which we've already used that. And then it says the pebbles are sold in 20 kg bags. Okay. And each bag covers an area of 0 0.36 meters squared. So what we're going to say in order to calculate the total number, let me just make sure you can see, in order to calculate the total number of bags of pebbles needed to cover the area of 5,7, we're going to say the area of 5.7, right, divided by 0 0.36. Because we're saying, okay, 0 0.36 says the amount in a bag. If we say the total area divided by the amount in the bag, it's going to give us the number of bags we're going to need. Okay, so let's put that into our calculator. 5.7 divided by 0 0.36. Ooh, not 96. 6. Okay, very important that we make sure that we input things correctly. 
okay and it tells me that it is 15.83333 forever ever okay that's how many bags i need right but what's important about this right it says calculate the total number of bags of pebbles needed to cover an area now, when you go buy pebbles at a DIY shop or uh, like a nursery maybe that sells pebbles, you can't go in and be say to them, I want 18.833333 bags of pebbles, right? So you actually need to say, and I use this little sign that's equivalent, you could put another um, little equal sign and say he's actually going to buy 16 bags, right? And the reason he's going to buy 16 bags is because you can't buy a bag that is this sort of weighting of pebbles, right? Or contains this much, th these many pebbles, right? He can either buy 15 bags or he buys 16 bags. He can't buy 15, right? Because 15 is gonna be too few to cover the whole area. So he buys 16 and he's gonna have some extra pebbles left over. Okay, now let's just see if we've answered all the questions that we're supposed to, right? Let's see if there's anything else we need to know. Um, I think that is perfect. We have now got there 10 marks in the bag and that was quite easy. Okay, so there are all the answers there. I hope that makes sense and we will move on to the last question of question three now.